Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Thursday, May 22nd, 2014. All right, yesterday, um, the petroleum status report, well, nothing exciting there. And the FOMC minutes, uh, apparently the Fed is searching for an exit strategy from the QE that they've been doing. Uh, apparently they feel... Um, Things are looking up, so they're looking for a way to get out of pumping all this or printing all this money and putting it into circulation. Actually, uh, currency, it's not really money, as Mike Maloney would say. But anyway, um, today we have jobless claims at 8.30. Uh, probably expect something positive out of that, I would say. Because I think everybody that can be laid off has been laid off. So, you know, uh, I know that Anchor Hawking here in uh, central Ohio, or you could almost say southeastern Ohio almost, because they are um, a little bit off-center in Hawking County. They kind of named after that. Um, is going to shut down their plants, or a parent company is shutting down plants across the country. And for our local economy here, that's about uh, 15 or 1,600 people that are going to be out of a job for a month, they say, until their inventory uh, dwindles or um, gets down to a, I guess, a level where they can restart manufacturing again so that's not real good news around here but we'll see you know as always let's take a wait and see attitude and we have a PMI manufacturing index and existing home sales at, at 10 o'clock all right let's take a look at what is going on across the ponds and in Asia pretty much uh, bullish across the board in Europe, mixed. A little up and a little down. All right, enough of that. Jumping over here to the futures in the U.S., we're looking at a slightly positive opening. Could almost say flat, but slightly positive. Gold is at 12.94 clawing its way back up to the 1300 mark uh, and oil is at almost 104 pulling back a little bit overnight silver is still below $20 thinking of making a silver move uh, in sometime uh, soon okay what did I do yesterday well um, nothing worked out none of the setups um, gave us what we were looking for. We could just to run through them real quick without too much discussion. We'll start out with Amazon. We were looking for a bear call on Amazon and you can see that we didn't get what we were looking for on the stochastic. We'll just kind of highlight that for right now. And EOG, we did enter EOG, or I should say I entered EOG. Somebody was asking me who the we are that I talk about. And I just consider myself as being plural. <laughs> uh, there's probably multiples of me inside of me. So that's kind of, no, I use we because I'm hopefully um, other people are playing along with this. But anyway, uh, EOG did enter them yesterday. Did get the indications that we needed that was with a 50 delta trade and Google stayed green. We're looking for some red on that. LinkedIn we did get red on the stochastic, we got a hook, but nothing, no confirmation on the MACD. Price line. 
Um, we didn't get the hook that we needed. Now we'll jump into the 20 deltas. Looks like Baidu might be um, reversing their trend here. We have a cross between the EMA and the SMA right up here. So there may be a trend reversal there in the making. And then F5 Networks. We got a hook on the stochastic, but no confirmation on the MACD. GLD. Uh, we got it on the stochastic, but nothing on the MACD. And TLT was another one that we were looking for a bull put on. And we got the hook on the stochastic, but not on the MACD. All right, let's shoot over and take a look at the account right quick. Uh, we're not looking so hot this week right now. We're down 371. You yeah, have uh, so far mostly good weeks compared to bad weeks, so we're uh, still not concerned at this time. Uh, a lot of these are 20 deltas. Uh, EOG and 3M I think are about the only ones oh maybe Visa is a 50 Delta 2 May 4 yeah that's a 50 Delta so uh, we're just we're gonna hang in there and not panic on anything at this time and we'll start out with Apple and Apple is not giving us an entry looking for one down here Amazon we already took a look at I will keep this on my setup list for today all right Boeing we're in Boeing waiting for that one to simmer a little bit longer so that we can get some uh, theta build up in there we're are considering we have $143 versus $656 in risk. So it's probably more like $144, yeah. So um, we're just waiting for that one to simmer a while longer. 20 Delta trade looking pretty good right now. Baidu. Uh, I still want to keep them on the list. No. Uh, well. Technically, they should still remain on the list. Look at this IV percentile. <laughs> I just uh, noticed that. Unusual. Very unusual. So what are we going to do about this? I think this is still a 20 Delta trade. And, you know, it's because MACD is very low. Price is in a range. It's not in an uptrend or a solid downtrend and that's why we pick a 20 delta on this particular trade or this particular underlying I should say and of course it's entirely possible we may not get the indications that we're looking for and even if we do if price doesn't make a significant move like break this low um, I just may not get in so we'll see Sell gene. All right, we're looking for an entry here. Chipotle. We are looking for an entry up here. Still not ripe yet. I want to go back and take a look at sell gene again. Oh uh, yeah, we're we're not ready. It's not ready. Uh, it's not ripe yet. All right, dropping down a Costco. Uh, we are in. All right, what are we in? Yeah, we're in a 20 Delta on Costco. That's what I thought we were. And soon to expire. CVX, 20 Delta on it with the first Friday in June expiration. Are we nervous? Eh, not yet. Any other addition can we add to this? Well, if we come up here, Actually, we could have condorized this. 
I'm putting this down on 20 delta for today for a possible iron condor. Let's take a look. Just do something on the bull put side. We need to have to go to 122, 122. Oh, that's a little tight. That's a little tight. I think it moved away from us. We should have actually considered this yesterday. This would have been an excellent place. We might have gotten something down at 120. Uh, but now it's a little bit too late to do that. So now we have to wait. DIA. Of course, we don't actually trade DIA, but we keep an eye on it to see how that's uh, sort of a reflection of the Dow to see how they're doing. Um, just pierced the 50 and then came back and started out right at the 50 and moved up. We'll see what happens today. And EOG, we are in. I made a nice move. We got in yesterday morning, uh, about 11 o'clock or so. And it made a nice move in the afternoon. FedEx. All right, FedEx, uh, we really have nothing going on there. F5 Networks, we were looking for a 20 Delta on it yesterday. We got a half of a hook here. It's still good for a 20 Delta for today. All righty. Take a look at gold. Um, really don't know what to do about gold. I'm going to leave it on my 20 delta. Um, if I can find something that gives me enough room, breathing room, but with an IV percentile of 3, um, when you move away from the 50 deltas, things start going really bad, and it's, it's hard to get a price far enough away for me to feel comfortable. If I can get something below one, you know, below this one... 22. Let's take a look here. And we'll look at this June. So now we're looking for 122. Well, we could go to 120, 150, but I'd be willing to bet there's really not enough money in it. Nine cents. If we went to a dollar spread, we'd get 14 cents. I'd be I would like to get 20 cents to keep it to a 5 to 1 risk reward. 121 and a half. 121 and a half. Well, 122 would probably be pretty good, I would think. So let's go to that and make this 121. All right, that gives us 17 cents. It inches us closer to the 20 cent ideal. So we're, um, geez, I don't know what that is, maybe 7 to 1, roughly. Uh, risk reward, that might be tolerable. That would be at 122, which we, that's well below the, all these lows here. Actually, 122.50 would be that would give us our 20 cents 122.50 and that'd be right about here probably wouldn't be too bad I'm keeping it on my 20 delta list for today all right let's take a look at Google We're not in Google at the moment. We're looking for a hook down. It's still valid. This would be a 50 delta trade. This move here, though, going up to the 50 and continuing beyond that today, unless there's some sort of big reversal, probably is going to run out of gas and put us into the third day, maybe. Today is Thursday. I won't trade it with a 50 delta on Friday. 
unless it pulls back in the afternoon and I do an overnighter. Yeah, that has possibilities. So if when I check it this afternoon, if I'm able to at, uh, you know, around 3.30 or so, half hour before the market closes, and it has made a move back down, I may jump in on it. Whether or not I get the hooks here, but I would imagine it probably will. If it plays out that way. Shifting over to take a look at LinkedIn. Um, this is still um, a viable candidate for a 50 delta trade. As a matter of fact, it's actually looking pretty good. Hitting this, hitting the SMA like it has done in the past, and giving us some good trades. Only it's just a little bit weak. These ranges are small, and the move is small. So it may be looking for a breakout to the upside, or it may not. We just play it as we see it. So it's going on to 50 delta for today. Looks just like yesterday. <laughs> All right, 3M, we're in 3M. At least we got a white line today. Yesterday we didn't have a white line. Um, we're looking for 3M to make a move up. It might, or it might not. It may be chalked up as a loser. NDX, we're in. Um, the move yesterday just uh, hurt. But we'll hang in there. Uh, we have some time. It's June 1, so we're about a week away, no, two weeks away from expiration on that one. Netflix on a tear. Wouldn't touch this one with a 10 foot pole right now. And here's why. We're in a downtrend. We just blew right through the 50 MA. Um, the EMA is uh, on a tear. SMA looks like a zoe. It's going to flatten out and probably start moving back up. So we're waiting for the next opportunity, which I'm anticipating would be down here. Priceline, pretty, I think that's sort of the same story. Sort of. I don't know. This is still a good uh, 50 delta trade here. We're getting some momentum back in. Time will tell. So let's watch this one for today. We'll put it on our 50 delta list and see what happens. All right, Russell, we're in. We have some room here. Russell didn't participate yesterday in the, in the um, I mean, it was a little bit. It was up, closed up, I guess you could say. But we have good cooperation here in our indicators. So we'll stick with that one, SPX. We're not in because we have a little bit of confusion here, a little bit of uh, mixed signals, so we're just hanging loose on that. TLT, a uh, slight bit of a scare here, but I think we'll be heading up for our profits in the near future. All right, Tesla. Tesla's on a nice run here. Wouldn't touch this one with a 10-foot pole either. We'll take a pass on that. UNP. Uh, we're waiting for it to come down and catch our target here. And last but not least is Visa. Um, we entered this day before yesterday. And... We're waiting for it to do its thing. You don't have an exit signal at this time. So we'll just hang in there on Visa for right now. Okay, so that is it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.